Welcome to Pineapple University. I'm Darren Kitchen, and in this lesson, we're going to be unboxing a brand new Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V and getting it set up with the latest 2015 firmware. Pineapple University is brought to you by Hack5 and you. So thank you for supporting us directly at hakshop.com. So I have in my hands a brand new Wi-Fi pineapple straight off the shelf and we're going to go ahead and get this set up. We're going to do a 2015 edition of the walkthrough. So follow me along. I have a brand new machine here and the first thing I'll want to do is notice that we have the SD card pre-plugged in and we're I already have a recent version of the Wi-Fi Pineapple firmware on here, but the first thing we're going to do after we get it started up is connect to the web and download the latest and greatest. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my antennas and my Ethernet cable and the power cable that I already have over here and get those antennas on. It is important that you don't ever boot up a uh, Wi-Fi transmitter or any radio transmitter for that matter without antennas uh, plugged in because it can do damage to the equipment. And also note when you're uh, setting your Wi-Fi pineapple up that to use the antennas that do come with the Wi-Fi pineapple as they are SMA, uh, it's a more professional connector, and if you have other Wi-Fi antennas laying around, they may be of the RPSMA variety, which is more common in consumer gear. You can tell the difference beca between them because in the SMA versions, you'll see that there's actually a male pin in the antenna rather than the male pin being in the connector. And the reason for that is if anything is going to break, we'd rather it be the inexpensive antenna that breaks rather than the uh, more expensive Wi-Fi pineapple. So with that, I'm going to go ahead here and uh, just get it uh, powered on, a little 12 volt action, and I'm going to get my lights going on here. And in just a moment, we're just going to wait here for about a minute or two, and when that blue light stops blinking, we're going to get a very special blink pattern that's going to let us know that we're ready to proceed. And we have our special blink pattern going off there, and that's letting us know that we're ready for the first step here, and that is to plug in the ethernet cable. So I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll switch over to our operating system, and let that go ahead and recognize it. And what's going to happen is our OS, whether that be Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever have you, is going to obtain an IP address just as my machine right here running Ubuntu just has. Wired Network Connection 3 is online, and I can test this. I've got a terminal open by doing a ping 172.16.42.1 and there we go that's set up so I'm going to open up a browser here and I'm going to head to 172.16.42.1 colon 1471. Be sure to use that URL right there because this colon 1471 is important and we should then be greeted by the welcome screen. We'll go ahead and hit continue and we'll be asked to create a password. I'm going to create something very simple here because we're about to change all of that. We accept the agreements and we set our password. Now in just a moment here the Wi-Fi Pineapple is going to uh, get set up and when it does we'll be able to go ahead and update our firmware. So it will disconnect the network, it'll connect right back up, if you are connecting over Wi-Fi to set up for the first time rather than connecting through an Ethernet cable, that's fine. Just keep in mind that part of the process is to reset the interfaces, both wired and wireless, and as such you may need to go ahead and manually reconnect to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So we'll wait here while this continues, then as soon as it's done, this page will automatically refresh. All right, the continue uh, link has just appeared, so we'll go ahead and click that and log in. Now we're greeted with uh, the latest version upon installation and in th this case it's firmware version 1.2 a few versions back. There have been significant improvements since then so what we'll want to do is first connect our Wi-Fi pineapple to the internet and once it's online we can then uh, download the latest version over the air and get that installed. So to do that we'll click on network here we're going to click on client mode 
And what this will do is display a list of all of the wireless access points in the area, and we will be able to go ahead and connect to our home wireless network. In this case, mine is named Asus, slightly ominous. I'm going to enter my password and click connect to this network. This is the you know, shortest, fastest, most simple way to get your Wi-Fi Pineapple online. It does take advantage of the second radio, which isn't, as you'll learn later when we talk about Pine AP, may not be the best practice, may not be what we want to do normally, but it is the quickest and simplest way to get your Wi-Fi Pineapple online. Otherwise, we can tether it to an Android phone, we can tether it to a Windows or a Linux laptop with different scripts. It's pretty simple to get it online. But I find, at least for the first connection, just connecting it to your home Wi-Fi seems to be pretty well. This isn't something that I would advise either A, connecting to an unsecured Wi-Fi access point, uh, insert irony there, or B, at, uh, I don't know, a malicious environment like a hacker conference. So just something to bear in mind there. All right, so it looks like we've gone ahead and connected. We see it connected down here. So the next thing that we'll want to do is go ahead and leave this window and go over to Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 5 over there. And under the Firmware Upgrade tab, we're going to go ahead and click Check for Upgrade. And we see here there is a new update available, so we're going to go ahead and click Flash. And as soon as the download is complete, the flashing will begin and the Wi-Fi Pineapple will reboot. Now be sure not to unplug your Wi-Fi Pineapple while this upgrade is taking place. You'll notice that it uh, will reboot and you'll get that blue blinking light to indicate that. And as soon as it finishes uh, the flashing process and the rebooting process, we'll be greeted once again by that same blinking pattern as we saw before. And our Wi-Fi Pineapple has successfully completed its firmware upgrade. We'll notice that our LEDs are doing that blink pattern as before. And we, if we come over to our desktop, we're greeted with a similar uh, prompt here where we're just asked to click continue. Now I should note here if you uh, were not able to connect to the Wi-Fi or you're having any sort of trouble, the old adage totally applies here and that is have you tried turning it off and on again? A simple reboot, especially initially, will usually clear out any problems that you may be having uh, and in this case you may also need to say unplug the Ethernet, plug it back in, to get an IP address again and then rebrowse to that same address, the 172.16.42.1.1471. But as soon as you do, you should be greeted with this screen here and we'll go ahead and continue with the setup process. And this is the new setup process for the uh, latest 2.x firmware. And the first thing that we're going to be asked to do here is to identify our Wi-Fi Pineapple. Now we can tell that we are in fact connected to our Wi-Fi Pineapple because a special blink pattern will emerge. Uh, we'll notice that the lights uh, from green to amber to blue to red are going to light in a different way, whether it's being solid, whether that's off, or whether that's blinking. And in this case, mine is green's on, uh, amber is blinking, blue is blinking, and red is off. And so all we need to do is come over here and say off, I'm sorry, on, blinking, blinking, off, and hit continue. Same as before, we're going to be asked to go ahead and come up with a uh, good password there, accept these licenses, and set our password. The next thing that we're going to be asked to do is to set up a WPA2 management interface. Now, the reason that we do this is because we're providing a secure means for you to be able to go ahead and manage your Wi-Fi Pineapple over SSH, over the web browser, from a mobile device. The new UI is very responsive when it comes to mobile phones now, and it looks great. So a lot of people like to do this, and we want to provide a secure means to do that. So we've created a separate network, a WPA2 encrypted network, and you can go ahead and turn this off if you don't want this option, but it is nice to be able to go ahead and create whatever SSID you would like, and then set up your password accordingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here, and call my Wi-Fi Pineapple, Pineapples are yummy. And come up with a good password. And finish my setup. And just as before, it's going to go ahead and complete the system setup. And in just a moment, we're going to be presented with a continue link and we'll be on our homepage. And there we are. So go ahead and click continue, I'll log in. 
And you should notice that everything is much more responsive. Things are much faster. We have more resources available. Uh, things are much prettier. We can, you know, turn on services like Karma and Pine AP just by checking the different boxes. Uh, it makes it a really, really simple tool to use in this case. And if you're confused about any of these features, another nicety uh, with the latest uh, 2.1, I believe, there's these question marks next to a lot of these features, and you can go ahead and click the question marks to find out more about how all of these different features work, which is kind of awesome. And so that right there in a nutshell is going ahead and unboxing your Wi-Fi Pineapple for the first time and getting it running the latest firmware. Of course, if you guys have any questions, please do leave them in the comments and be sure to check out wifipineapple.com for all of the latest. Uh, you'll find the latest videos as well as links to the forums where you can get involved in the community. I hope to see you there. Until next time, I'm Darren Kitchen. Keep hacking.